500, uh, the 99S10. Thankfully, my friend Mike gave me the old flywheel clutch assembly so I can use for mock-up purposes. Um, I'm going to bring a couple measurements to you. Four, three flywheels, uh, 13 and 9 sixteenths in the diameter, not including the starter ring gear. And the LS style is like 3 and 3 eighths. I bring these two measurements up because several folks on the forum say that uh, because of the flywheel diameter, uh, S10 style NV3500 won't work with an LS style swap. Well, that's not true. The diameters are similar. The only differences I've seen, besides we're talking two different generations of engines with you know different architecture, is the thickness. This flywheel is one and a half. The LS is one and three eighths. And most folks know that have any education with the, between the two engines, the small block, original small block, including the 4.3, the crank flange, flange hung out uh, quite a bit more than the LS style. LS style crank flange is almost flush with the rear cover. So I have reason to believe that this is gonna work flawlessly. Um, I was gonna use the 4.3 style clutch. I'm not going to. This is an 11 inch disc, but as you guys can see, she fits perfectly on the 4.3's flywheel. And it's pretty similar, you know, fitment on the 5.3 flywheel. The only significant difference is the center holes are much, much bigger. You're looking at it's like six and a half, this counter hole here, versus, I want to say eight inches. So what that tells us you're leaving a lot of clutch material overhanging. This information was also covered by, I'm gonna call him my brother channel, a uh, gentleman, but he, uh, uh, Headflow Inc. Smart dude, guy knows his stuff. Very educated, very, uh, very informative. So I'm giving you a plug, brother. Yeah. I learned a couple of things from him. Uh, he did a couple T5, or he did a T5 swap. Older style, I believe it was a blazer. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. I know he's been commenting, which is cool. I'm glad we're doing this together. We're learning and we're helping everybody. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to use um, factory 48 clutch assembly. Not a big deal. So that's where I'm at with this. Even the pressure plate, I have to. You got to knock out these pins if you use a different style clutch. Pressure plate is close, but you'd have to open up the holes, the bolt holes. I don't know if they use the SAE diameter or uh, versus the metric diameter of the uh, LS style flywheel. So that's that.